this is a competitive process, and so I, I, I think you can uh, still be humble in uh, in accepting uh, a new mandate and celebrate the fact that some pretty hard-fought battles uh, were won and were pretty significant and important politically. And so if the leader of another party is unsuccessful in his seat, the members of the other party that were responsible for that loss are, are going to be excited by that prospect. I still think that we can and we will be going through the next number of years with the humility that we should be because we are public servants and we're asked now to serve for another four years in a few months and uh, we're going to uh, work hard to earn what happened yesterday. We haven't earned it yet. I think we're going to try to have a caucus meeting tomorrow with all the new uh, members and the MLA's designate who have been successful so far. There's a bit of a lag now in terms of returns. It's not our process but the electoral process of the province where members are until they're officially uh, become members of the legislature and that can be a you know a couple of weeks uh, but as soon as that happens we'll make uh, steps to uh, get the legislature back in session. Uh, we'll have a speech from the throne. It'll be based on you know, we didn't make a lot of promises in the election, but we'll want to uh, reiterate those in, the, in a speech from the throne. And then shortly thereafter, as soon as possible, in terms of sort of the timelines that finance needs to prepare everything they need to prepare, we'll present a budget to the people of Saskatchewan. We expect that to be around the end of May, maybe June 1.